I'm Dark Mountain and you're listening to Madness FM. And that was One Direction with Kiss You. Around this time each week, I like to do the movie of the week. This week's movie is called Oz, The Great and Powerful. Kansas is full of good men. I don't want to be a good man. I want to be a great one. You're gonna need this! Set in 1905, a county magician, Oscar Diggs, is transported from Kansas to the land of Oz, where he is taken for the wizard who is prophesied to save the realm from a wicked witch. The sisters Evanora and Theodora send him on a deadly quest, which brings him in contact with Glinda the Good, flying monkeys, a china doll and oppressed munchkins. your broom. You don't know much about witches, do you? It's the Emerald City. You are here at last, and the prophecy shall be fulfilled. This is my sister, Evanora. I'm here to serve you. The royal treasure of Oz. It belongs to you, but only after you defeat the Wicked Witch. Just how wicked is she? Towns were destroyed. <laughs> Children were orphaned. A great wizard from Kansas. I've waited for you to come and set things right. Me? You'll die, you'll die! Did those crows just say we're gonna die? Your magic is the only thing strong enough to save us all. Please tell me you gentlemen can fight. No. But we sing. Guys, uh, take five. If there are post Harry Potter children who don't know or care about the Wizard of Oz, they might be at sea with this story about a not very nice grown up in a magic land, but long term Oz watchers will be enchanted and enthralled. There's even a musical number, albeit an abbreviated one. Mila Kunis gets a gold star for excellence in bewitchery, and Sam Raimi can settle securely behind the curtain as a mature master of illusion. Actually, be a uh, wizard. Yes, but they don't know that. You are capable of more than you know. Help! Please! Are you the great man we've been waiting for? I think I could be. It's playing at a cinema near you. Go see it.